Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Today's video is being brought to you by my awesome patrons on my Patreon page. If you enjoy the content that I share with you guys here on my channel, please consider becoming a patron. There's lots of good rewards over there for those who do. Um, so anyway, that's about it. Check out the link in the more info area to find out how to do that. So today what we're gonna be talking about are the advanced automation features inside of GarageBand that are available to all of the MIDI sounds in GarageBand. So I'm talking about the pianos, the Hammond organ, which I've already made a video about. Check out the link floating around my head or in the more info area, I'll put it. The, the Rhodes, the Wurlitzer, the synths are what we're specifically gonna be talking about today. And the synths that use this transform pad that you see here below in the screen. So this is something I'm sure you already recognize. Now, right out of the gate, I'm gonna show you one thing you might not have known. So most of us do this. We go, oh, soft and muted, and we click through them like they're just, you know, toggle switches more or less, right? One thing you might not know is that you can take this and move it in between the sounds, okay? So you can get a blend of these different sounds uh, that are available to whatever keyboard sound, whatever synth sound you have dialed up in the moment. So that's one very easy thing to do, okay? So the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is what I explained in my Hammond video. So I recorded a part, pretty much I actually just held down one key uh, throughout the entire performance of the song, right? And then what I did was go back, push record on that same exact track, but I didn't actually touch any of the keys on my keyboard, the white or black keys, I didn't touch any of those. What I did do was take my mouse and move it around like this throughout the performance. When I hit stop and I hit play again, all of those moves have been recorded in GarageBand. So again, what I did was record my performance on the keyboard, only playing the parts on the keyboard, right? In this case, it's one note. Then after I was done that, I went back, hit record again on the same exact track and I worked with the mouse to make this sweeping effect. And so basically watch this, watch the blue highlighted area as I push play. Hands free. That's the whole idea that I wanted to share with you guys. Any of these sounds that have this transform pad, not only are you locked, not locked into one sound or another, you can blend them, but you can automate them in this way that really makes it sound like you have all the knobs, you know what I mean? Like on your MIDI controller, a lot of keyboards have those knobs. My M-Audio Keystation 61 does not have any of those knobs. Um, so there, thankfully, is a way to do it in GarageBand that's super, super easy. I mean, you literally just grab the mouse and move it along. You can also do it at the same exact time. You can play the keyboard and then with your other hand, work the mouse around the transform pad if you want to. You can do it that way if you want to, but I find it a little bit easier to do it in two stages, record it first, then work the automation part second. So that's the entire thing I wanted to talk about today, but I do really believe that this is one of the ways to get the performances out of your synths to sound more realistic and sound more professional, like you are really somebody who knows how to dial in the cool sounds. These sweeping effects um, add emotion and color and just help a flow in a song. You know, they just sort of give it a little bit of life blow, whatever it may be, the drums, the bass. Um, you know, in this case, this was a song I was trying to put out for my Monday videos, but it just didn't turn out that well, or it was just like a little too trite or something for me. I like the song, but it didn't work out. Anyway, you guys, I hope that helps, and you guys will have a lot of fun playing with these options over the weekend, and I will see you again with another video on Monday. Peace.